Welcome to DigiBudget. In this series, I will be upgrading one starter deck and upgrading them with a 10 to $20 per episode, buying the lowest rarity and playing three or more matches to see how this budget deck compares to other meta or casual or even other budget decks. The purpose of this series is to show what the starter deck can become on a budget and how well it stands against the rest. I work hard on the scripts and editing for the DigiBudget series, so if you like the video, consider leaving a like, it would be appreciated, and maybe a subscribe if you enjoy my content. The rules are no proxies, no borrowing, and no cards over $30, and no more than one copy of the starter deck. With that, let's get into today's episode. Alright bro, so uh, I have my eggs here with uh, four pog from the structure deck, um, and then one Zeomon, Jamon that I opened from the, uh, the pack that came with the structure deck. So I was kind of lucky with that. I didn't have to buy that. That's free. Um, for level threes, Tapermon were like one to two dollars. Gilamon were like ten to twenty, or maybe thirty a piece, thirty cents a piece. And I know these Goblimon, four Goblimon, uh, are like ten. But uh, Gilamon's really good, and Taper. I really love Taper for the extra draw. But Gilamon is where it matters. Be uh, yeah, Guillemon wears matters because uh, it's four to evolve for the boss monster. Um, Gabu is just for the for the extra draws. Quite nice. Um, Gazi for the memory blocking, and like for my last two uh, level threes is going to be uh, Candlemon and Debimon for the uh, easy on play, so that I can get my uh, Chaos Mon deletes for free essentially. Level fours, uh, the cheap to evolve uh, Marimon. Uh, I might cut it down for a blocker, the level one, or like the one to evolve blocker. Uh, two Garumon, they didn't do much in testing, um, but rarely used its effect, so I'll probably cut it down to like the one cost or the, the two cost blockers. Um, I do have uh, two Devimon for BT2, probably like 10 cents or so. Uh, retaliation is good. Uh, outing big monsters. It also you can summon it off of um, what's it called? The nail bone. Uh, what else do I have? I do have the one blocker, the one cost blocker. Oh, three Debbie Mon, excuse me. And the the two blockers that came in the structure deck, and that is all I am running for level uh, fours. It's like about uh, 12, uh, 12 level fours. I think I need to cut that down a little. But I do run fourteen level threes, four school Satamon. Mainly because um, it came in the structure deck. It also recovers one on Digivolve, but it also makes you vulnerable because you have to have your level 4 out on field to get the Digivolve effect. Um, 3, Black War Groundmon. This was like a dollar and 20 a piece, so I tried to not max out on it, but I will max out on it next week. Um, and then I do have the one Myotis. Just so that I can just cheap to evolve. I might as well uh, replace like three of these with uh, my Otis. It's just, you can go into your level six a lot easier. Uh, just in case your opponent tries to cut you short on the memory or you don't have a memory tamer. Uh, but the Black War Gramon is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, I, I I need to max them out like immediately. And then for our boss monsters, uh, you know who it is. It's Cress from the structure deck. He's, he has a built-in plus one. It is quite nice. Uh, it ends games faster when you're uh, when you combine it with the uh, Black War Ground Mon. So that's quite nice. You don't use this effect if you have uh, Cress because Cress can do it cheaper. So um, if you draw into Cress, uh, don't use the Digi Burst effect. Um, because uh, Crest is just one cheaper, so you can probably um, you can uh, digi burst the level two and three underneath, and then revive the level three that you uh, digi burst. So, two Crest from the starter, uh, two Tacti, um, because he's uh, tactical. Uh, Really nice if you have only him on the field. You get you get all three effects and you just like delete rookie rush. Just they're gone. 
rookie rush is no more. We did it. Um, and then two chaos were like also a dollar a piece. Tactimon was uh, thirty cents, probably a dollar in shipping, but we're not accounting shipping in the costs. Uh, and then Plutomon was also a dollar. Uh, I might replace it with Omni, but it's also another boss monster that you can go into. And also on Brick, because it, it draws you three. It, it draws you three. And now for uh, the Tamers, I do not have Omnimon yet because he's $10. He's half the budget. Um, he's, he's relatively expensive at $10. I, I wanted to build up the deck first at the ground up rather than at the, the boss monsters. So I'll go with the, the Nailbone and the Demonic Disaster. Nailbone is free. Uh, it came in the starter deck, so no cost to me. But it's 7 to play, it's kind of rough. But he's also it's also your recovery option. Um, where you need to evolve into something or you need a blocker. Uh, unfortunately, I did have some issues where I didn't have blockers in the, the trash, so I just lost flat out. And Demonic Disaster, so you can get that extra swing in. Um, it's quite nice. That's it for our options. And lastly, we do have our Tamers. These are like $1 to $2 a piece. Ty and Matt, they're kind of incredible with Omni. So I'm, I'm really setting up for the future Omni build. Uh, Taikumi is always a good option. Um, so far, uh, the mat and Ty are just here for memory. Like, I do not get the plus one since I don't have Omnimon yet. So it's just a plus two memory. And then Taikumi, uh, Taikumi to just tap and just unbrick still. Um, and then the two mat for just plain memory and recovery of uh, one from the trash. And that's it, guys. Let's get right into the games. Hey, guys. We're uh, back in a match. Uh, game one, match one, uh, match one, game one, excuse me. We start off second with a hatch and an extra draw, then play a Taikumi to pass our turn. I go into a Skull, Satamon, and then activate Taikumi to draw an extra one. And then it goes to him, he evolves to pass, but I put him to two with a mat on the field. What it looks like, I'm really stacking and banking on the Takumi. It's just so good. Takumi is just insane. Like, I love the card. Uh, as you can see with the Cress out, uh, Cress Garumon, uh, what I did not know, even though there was nothing in my trash here, I could still use and activate uh, Cress Garumon's effect to revive a level 3. So I swing here and I just instantly die. Then he swings and um, he, he just does. And I try to build my way back up with a Black Wolf Ralmon in my raising area here. Or I move out and then evolve into it. Excuse me. And I have a blocker on field. He throw down a level 3, the Tapir, and the Gylemon. Gylemon. And then he just straight up swings for two checks, man. Like, I let all of them go, mainly because I could probably get another Takumi or another Matt and try to recover one. Or to recover one from my trash. Uh, I block on his Blitz. I do block on his Blitz. And then I hatch and evolve. I go for a Devi and try to swing into his big guy, but he just straight up negates it with his Omni. Uh, it looks like I can't do all that much, so I just swing here, and then I just I just take an L. I just I just lose here. So I go to game one, match two. I go first. I choose to go first and set up in raising area. He bricks on a level four, and then just plays on the field. I swing just to fill my trash with Digimon to revive and refill my hand later. Uh, I rebuild. My hatching area again and evolve into a level 5 to pass he goes into a shoutmon he goes for a shoutmon and he looks like he's about to rookie rush me but unfortunately this structure deck only came with two blockers which is the devi um i evolve into a tacti and wipe all of his rookies tactimon really really just saved me here 
and I put him back to one with a Taikumi. I swing again with a Tacti just to pass the turn with a Nailbone here and it goes back to my turn and now it is my turn to rush the board and strike back hard. He swings to get rid of my Tactimon and I'm at like 3. Uh, my Takumi stops me from swinging without a cost, well, without a cost, um, with my level 3s. Uh, but I just attack because I have game here even if I lose memory. And he has no blockers, so he just straight up scoops, man. So, looking good. Looking but Looking really good. I come in with the clap back here. So, we are at, uh, game 1, match 3. He goes first as it usually goes. Uh, he plays an Agumon again, and here I am setting up in the raising area. He swings, and his Agumon dies. So I go into a straight Tactimon to pass. He builds up, and I swing and activate all three of Tactimon's effects, and I put him at low, uh, put him at one memory with a level four Digivolve. He swings into my Tactimon. I Digiverse to get something. But I had to uh, digivolve into Kreskarumon to pass. He swings with my security with two checks, and he straight up almost kills me. Um, see if I can make a recovery. Uh, I swing with <laughs> four checks. Four checks, man. I strike back with four checks with my Kreskarumon for the price of two swings. If I pass, I believe I just die here. Um, I did play a blocker, but he does have two Digimon. There's nothing I could do, so I I had to scoop right here. At least I uh, stood a chance. I I stood a chance here. So right now we are on game two, match one with a familiar friend. I fight against the legendary Pokestuck. I pile shuffle <laughs> here too for uh, you know for the good luck. Uh, I go first. And as usual, put this this doo doo head looking dude to one memory. I think he's playing the new ice monster, um, Hexablau. Yeah, yeah, Hexablaumon. And he hits with jamming, and a crest hits the trash. I'm so mad, bro. I wanted to use that. Um, I wanted to draw that, but no. Uh, instead, I go into the legendary, the almighty, Chaos Gallantmon. A little confusion here. Um, I try to pop his Digimon without popping one of mine. So I go back a little. I play um, Tapermon for three from my hand and then evolve into Chaos Gallantmon. And he goes to six due to his Tamer. But yeah, uh, I do activate um, Chaos Gallantmon's pop effect. He goes into a blocker, gains a memory as he swings with a Sora Joe Tamer. Uh, I Digivolve and just swing for a check, then um, Chaos Gallant, then I play a level 3, it's Gallant, Gazimon. Uh, Hexablau finally hits the field. Uh, I am at 1 security while he is at 4. This is not looking good for me. He puts me at 1, but I go to 3, so that's great. Um, I swing with my taper just to get the extra draw, try to unbrick, hopefully draw to a card I can use, maybe a nail bone to revive a blocker and a level 3. Um, I revive one with Gallant, I digivolve into a blocker to protect myself, then I play a mat to pass a turn, and then he goes to 6 because I control a Digimon that has no evolution sources. Now my blocker has retaliation, so due to Xiaomon, so I took down his Mon with me, but he lobos me for game. He, he just lobos me, but All right, so um, here we are at game two, match two. I go first, my hand, my hand was garbage. So I hard play a, a level five Digimon from hand. He sets up in raising area and he uses a hammer spark on top of the memory I gave him. Uh, I draw two, discard one due to the effect of the Digimon I had on field. I don't remember the name. I'm sorry. Uh, I swing, I draw one, trash one. We both are at four security, and then my heart drops as he plays the Hexablaumon, and he trashes a couple of my Digimon sources. 
and then he goes for a Lobo, then he digivolves into a Paeldramon, Paeldramon, excuse me, and I evolve into a Tacti, make him 13k to swing over the Blau. I think what I should have done is to swing with Gabumon first and then the uh, and then the Tactimon so I can activate all three of the effects. A, and then I drop a two cost here, uh, a level three. <sighs> Hammer Spark does hit it though. Hammer Spark does hit. Uh, he swings with jamming. He drops another Hexablow. Uh, I swing another uh, Tactimon. Tactimon swing here in a level three. Uh, trash the top two, and I play a uh, blocker. I can only take one hit. And then he puts me to seven. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Um, playing a blocker. I swing with Tacti. Draw one, trash one. Tacti's really, though. Tacti, Tacti Mon is really putting some mad, mad work this match. Um, I did evolve. I hit another Hammer Spark with the Crest Garumon, but I do have a blocker. And he only has one Digimon on field. There's not much he can do, and he's I steal it, bruh. He scoops, but he scoops. Um, so here I am. Game game two, match three, is coming close down to the wire. He chooses to go first, puts me at one. I evolve and return the favor by also putting him at one memory. I move out and I play one to put him at one. So uh Yilmon serves as a level three to swing with. I evolve in raising, put him to two. And he takes the first two swings. He uses a hammer spark. And from here, ladies and gentlemen, he kind of wipes me, man. He he wipes me with no mercy. With the Omnimon, man, that game felt really terrible. Really terrible. My the twenty dollars this episode really did put in some work from apart from the starter deck. Ah man, especially for week one, twenty dollars an episode only takes you too far. Only takes you so far. But in conclusion, guys, with only two blockers in the deck, I leave myself wide open to attacks, as seen in the last game. He wipes me with his Omni. Uh, if only I had like more blockers. I think four blockers is enough. Um, I need. I feel like it needs more blockers. Yeah, more blockers. Uh, and I need to replace the nail bones with. I don't know, Omnimon. Omnimon is like nail bone, but on legs and can do a lot more things. Um. I can easily fight back with Omnimon. I easily like can even out the playing field, so to speak. Kiyos Gallant did put in some work, and so did the Black War Gralmon. I can swing and restand it to protect him, or I can go for another play aggro and go for another swing. Um, it does have a lot of utility. I can uh, trash or trash three Digi sources and then revive one, and just make the plays from there. But my issue is, um, by the time I digivolve, it's like he already storms the field, or like I don't draw into the right cards. But next week, next week will be slapping, bro. Next week, next week's gonna be a bit different. Not too different. I already know what I'm gonna go for. But so far, I think it's to be expected for week one. To be honest, uh, it's 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 been this way for the past three, um, yeah, the past three installments of Digi Budget. Actually, the red, or what's it called the Gaia Red structure deck, did not do so bad. But um, I did, I really did get curb stomp. But that's when the game first came out. Uh, what's it called blue? Well, Cockatus Breath, yeah. Cockatus Breath with the Old Force. I went the Old Force route. Yeah, I kind of got curb stomped. And then Guy Green, I got curb stomped again. At the start. But, you know, you know, guys. It's only up from here. We only going up. So, next episode, it's going to be a lot better. It only is up here. It's uphill from here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave it at that. You already know. 
I'll see you guys in the next episode.